Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regents uh, problem number 10. Uh, if you want us to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org. Uh, click on the appropriate tabs. So here's the problem. In the diagram of right triangle ABC, uh, CD intersects the hypotenuse AB at D. Okay, so that looks to be true. This looks like a right triangle. So uh, this everything looks to be a uh, uh, drawn to scale. Now, if AD is four and DB equals six, uh, which length of AC makes CD perpendicular to AB? CD perpendicular to AB. Okay, and then there's some measurements here: uh, two radical six, two radical ten, two radical fifteen, four radical two. Definitely pause the video, try this problem on your own, see if you get the same answer as we do. If you do, definitely hit the like button. Uh, and if we, if you found this helpful, also hit the like button. So here's here's what we do as a process of elimination. Um, if suppose that you don't know how to do this problem at all. But you do notice that this diagram looks to be drawn to scale. This this side looks like uh, this triangle that's labeled as a right triangle looks like a right triangle. Yep. This side that's length four looks about two thirds the length six, which is so everything is drawn to scale. And this this CD does look like it's perpendicular to AB. So if I had to guess. Uh, you know, length CD should be longer than AD just because it looks like it is. And also CD has to be shorter than DB just because it looks like it is. That's actually the only reason that it, it uh, that has to be true. So if I plug in some numbers, 2 radical 6, okay, uh, 2 radical 10, let's see. Now 2 radical 6 is between 4 and 6. 2 radical 10 is not, so I'm, this is probably wrong. 2 radical 15 is larger than 2 radical 10, so that's probably wrong. And then 4 radical 2 uh, is 5.65, so it's much closer to 6. So we'll leave that up in the air and, and just let you guess based on these numbers. Four point, this is around 4.89. This is around 5.65. And we'll let you at this point guess based just on that which answer you think is correct. But this is a good thing because honestly now you have a 50% chance of getting it right even if you don't know how to get this question right in the in a, in a in a more definitive way. So let's see if we can get this problem right though uh for uh, right now. Uh we have that uh, AD is 4, CD is unknown. Now, I do notice there's a, there's, a, there's a theorem that you should know that if this is, if triangle ABC is a right triangle and CD is an altitude, then it is true that AD over DC is equal to DC over DB. Okay? This is a very worthwhile uh, theorem to know. Okay, uh, it's a special theorem. Uh, it's uh, very useful. They bring it up on almost every regions. So definitely have it. Uh, another thing to know is that uh, these right triangles, there's three right triangles, not just two. There's three, triangle ABC. But if CD is perpendicular to AB, then triangle ADC is also a right triangle. And triangle CDB is also a right triangle. And they all have a right angle because all triangle, all right triangles have a right angle. It would be this and this. And also, uh, they share at least one angle with each other. So angle A is part of triangle ADC and also tri part of triangle ABC. Angle B is part of triangle BDC and also part of triangle ABC. So all the triangles must necessarily be similar by the angle-angle uh, postulate. So that means that all the sides are proportional. So if you if you do proportions of sides, this that's a yet another way of getting the answer to this question. So, uh, but we're going to use this proportion that's very useful to us. Uh, and we plug in numbers. Let's see, AD is 4. DC is unknown, and DC is still unknown, and then DB is 6, and then we, we use cross multiplication uh, to get uh, DC, so DC squared, DC times DC is equal to 4 times 6. 
So dc squared is equal to 24. Take the square root of both sides and we get dc is equal to positive uh, square root of 24, which is equal to the square root uh, uh, 24. It has a factor that's a perfect square root of 4. four square root of 4 to square root of 6. Oops which is equal to 2 square root of 6, okay? So DC is equal to 2 square root of 6, so that's definitely the answer, okay? So uh, let's see if we can get a, uh, so if you're looking for just that answer, definitely hit the like button. You can go on to the next video, but we did create a practice problem uh, for you guys uh, to look at uh, and, uh, uh, and try out on your own. So in the diagram below, right triangle ABC, uh, CD intersects the hypotenuse uh, AB, at D and then which of the following makes CD perpendicular to AB okay so we should know the proportion there's a few answers here and hopefully the answer that we know to be true uh, is there that uh, but pause the video try it on your own see if you can get it um, so now what we do is we know that AD over DC is equal to DC over db let's see if this is there ad over dc equals dc over db ah, it's the first answer so this is it uh so then all the rest necessarily are not enough to imply that 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 uh a that cd is perpendicular to ab and you should definitely go through these choices and see why that's that's each one is not the case for example this last answer is the pythagorean theorem for triangle ABC and that Pythagorean theorem has no effect on any statement about um, CD at all so that that for example is not the answer so if you wanted to eliminate one answer there it is um, okay hopefully this helped for you um, if it did please do go ahead and click on the, the like button subscribe you know and of course we, the reason we do this is to help students like you uh, have benefit from these videos so so let your friends know that that these videos are available and thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow